ask for Rob Berry to go ahead and unmute himself. Rob, go ahead. Hi, out of all of the criticisms that could be made regarding the Warren case, and there are many, the most egregious is the abandonment of both the spirit and the letter of the laws governing open and transparent meetings. You have broken the bond of public trust. The policy of a council that honors and respects the public's right to know what their government is up to would conduct themselves according to the principle that any business that can be conducted in public shall be conducted in public. This council has taken the opposite approach. Upon the flimsiest justifications, anything that you would rather discuss in secret entitles you to complete secrecy. Not only is this settlement a disaster waiting to happen, but you did it entirely on your own without the slightest effort at public disclosure or scrutiny along the way. We first learned what you'd done only after it was signed, sealed, and delivered, beyond the public reach or even awareness. We have learned that neither this council nor your own police chief had an opportunity to review the actual document before it was signed. The public was last to know what you had done, too late to have any meaningful input. You did that. To add insult to injury, tonight you have placed Warren on the agenda under the pending litigation exception of the Brown Act. How can you claim closed session privileges for a case that no longer exists? Now that your capitulation and appeasement are complete, you continue to discuss city business in private. Why? Because you make up your own rules to suit yourselves. You cannot possibly claim to respect your duties or your constituents when you treat them in this way. How can voters remain loyal when you so openly abuse their public trust? This is not, it is not what you say you believe that matters. It is what you do. I am so disappointed in you. I did not expect this. I'm not sure that anyone did. Thank you.